baby again. Your testimony is close to you. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. Welcome to our Moments with the Lord ministry. How are we doing? I believe we're doing great and blessed. I still remain your friend and sister, Sister Isioma Uchi. A very big thank you to everyone that is supporting the ministry. So many people are helping us to share the videos, your wonderful comments, and your thumbs up. I do appreciate you, and God bless you and meet you in your points of need. And for those that are joining us today, maybe today is your first day coming across this channel, Please, your subscription is also needed. You can subscribe and press the notification bell so that you have new uploads. We do upload new videos every Sundays to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. Thank you so much for joining us and your life will not remain the same. In Jesus' name, Amen. Can we take this confession loud and clear as we mean it? Can we say, I'm whom God says I am? I am what I am not what man think or what man says I am in Jesus name amen absolutely right never stop saying it because confession brings possession hallelujah in today's episode of a moment with the Lord we'll be seeing a topic that says do not be discouraged do not be discouraged there is still hope for the living a living dog is better than a dead lion. That is what the word of God says. So many are discouraged today because of uh, what they are passing through. Many are discouraged in the society, even in our marriages, in the families. So many are discouraged. But that is not God's plan for his people. The word of God is full of hope and encouragement. Let's see what the Bible tells us in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 3. And it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Hallelujah. Though it tarries, please underline that word. Though it's taking longer time, so you've been praying, you fasted, you have sold sin, you have hold on to the word of God, you have sung songs, you have praised, you have done everything you think you can do, but it's not coming to pass. The word of God says, wait for it, because why? It will surely come, it will not tarry. He said, wait for it. Do not be discouraged. Do not be like a pregnant woman that has been carrying the baby right from the first month. And on the seventh month, she's beginning to give up and say, I cannot carry the baby again. Your testimony is close to you. Everyone has what they are believing God for or praying God for. The word of God says in the book of Job, he said, man born into the world just with a few days. His life is full of problems, full of trouble, full of challenges. Do not give up. He said, write that vision down. Write that your expectation down. Write that your petition down. Hallelujah. Write that thing you have been believing God for. That vision the Lord has given to you in a dream. The Lord has said you are going to be a father. You are going to be a mother. You have been believing God for children. It's like it's not coming to pass. The Lord has said you are going to get married. You have been believing God. It's like it's not coming to pass. The word of God says, wait for it. Because why? It will come to pass at the appointed time. Do not be discouraged. Do not give up. There is no any other way except Jesus Christ. Do not begin to look for an alternative. Keep on trusting in the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 11 says this. He said, For the Lord has redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hands of him that was stronger than him. And verses 13 of Jeremiah 31 again says this. He said, For the Lord will turn our mourning into dancing and we comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrows. 
you might begin to ask. Now that I've prayed, I've believed God, I have fasted, I have waited, what else do you want me to do? Keep on waiting. Keep on praying. Keep on believing. Keep on trusting God because the Lord says it's going to come to pass. When it's going to come to pass, you might not know, but do not be discouraged. Do not go back to your Egypt. What is the next thing we can do when we are waiting for the Lord? Check your character. We should check our behavior. We should check our characters. We should check our attitudes. The word of God says, let your word be seasoned with salt so that we know how to answer all man. Samuel, first Samuel tells us this, chapter 1, when you read through, you see the story of Anna, when he was believing the Lord for the fruits of the womb, and the man of God came to him that day, came to her, she was not discouraged, she spoke positively to the man of God, and the man of God blessed her, her character can take away our blessings, or connect us to our destiny helpers, so we need to watch our characters, what else can I do? Do not doubt the word of God. James 1 verse 6 to 8 says this, Whosoever that doubts cannot get anything from God is like a waving seal. Be steadfast. Keep on trusting. Without faith, no man can place God. Keep waiting. Keep doing the right thing. James chapter 2 verse 2, 20 tells us that, he said, faith without work is dead. When you are trusting God, maybe for a job, while you are praying, do not be lazy. Do not wake up and just stay on the bed and waiting for the job to fall down from heaven. You still have to go out. Put your CVs where that is in the places that are important while you are believing for God, while you are believing God for open doors. We should do away with laziness. While we are praying, we have to keep on doing those things that are good and do them well. Then finally, avoid those that discourage people. There are a lot of people that are full of discouraging, full of discouraging words. They don't encourage people. You have to do away with them. Keep companies with those that motivate you with the word of God. Missional messages. And I tell you, you will smile very soon. Your testimony is close to you. I pray the Lord will bless us and help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, can we pray? Can we say, my Father, thank you for your word that I've held today. Connect me to the right source and open doors of favor for me. Help me to wait until my breakthrough come to pass. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Maybe you've been listening and you want to rededicate your life to Christ Jesus. Can we take this prayer together? Can you say, my father, I am sorry for all the wrongs I've done to you. Have mercy on me today. From today, I refuse to go back to the world. I want to follow you. Give me the grace to finish well. Thank you, my father, for writing my name in the book of life. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. If you've taken that word of prayer, congratulations. But please look for a living church and fellowship with the brethren. God bless you. Still blessed and still safe. I love you. But God loves you more than I do. I hope to see you in my next video. 